It seems that sometimes meditation can change the laws of physics. There are many myths surrounding Buddhist monks. They are known for their incredible abilities, which some even consider magical. For example, this sage became famous throughout the world for his fantastic performance. Monk from Thailand Many of you probably know that meditation helps achieve spiritual enlightenment, but we bet you haven't seen anything like this before. It seems that sometimes meditation can change the laws of physics. There are many myths surrounding Buddhist monks. They are known for their incredible abilities, which some even consider magical. For example, this sage became famous throughout the world for his fantastic performance. In the video, he is meditating in a container full of hot oil, while his followers are handing him pieces of cloth and other items in order to receive at least a tiny bit of his magical powers. After this video was uploaded to the web, it got a mixed reaction. Someone sincerely admired the supernatural abilities of the monk, and someone immediately began to unravel the secret behind this mystery. The first thing that seems suspicious is the oil, which doesn't bubble. Anyone who has ever fried something in a pan knows that this happens when oil boils. Why didn't the monk's assistants put the thermometer, or, for example, a piece of bread inside the container just to prove the experiment is not fake? It would also look spectacular. Scientists are certain. The oil in the container does not boil at all. But what about the flames that surround it? you would ask. There's an explanation for that as well. The container might have a hidden bottom which insulates the heat. In addition, there's another trick. If you add a little water to the oil, it will absorb heat and prevent it from boiling. Well, it's up to you whether to believe this monk or not. Such experiments are not uncommon, because one of the monk's most important goals is to overcome physical and mental pain. However, it would be a mistake to think that practitioners of meditation do not feel it. Of course, their body, like any other, reacts to pain. The thing is, the monks learn to perceive physical suffering differently, accepting and ignoring it. After all, pain, like everything in this world, is temporal. Brian Shaw once this guy, together with his friend, was flying economy class from England to Scotland, and by coincidence, they were in the neighboring seats. No wonder that the whole hour of the flight was a torture, and internet users came up with a bunch of memes and claimed that the plane reached its destination only by a miracle. After all, the total weight of these two men is about 400 kilos. Brian Shaw is a 37-year-old strongman from the USA, known in the world of powerlifting under the nickname Gigantor. During his career, he has won the title World's Strongest man several times, and a few days ago, he successfully beat the previous Dinny Stones record. These two stones were made famous by strongman Donald Dinny, who reportedly carried them barehanded across the Potark Bridge in 1860. Since the rediscovery of the stones in 1953, this unusual weight was lifted by a little more than a hundred people, including several women. But Brian not only lifted the stones, he also broke a record for the distance traveled while carrying them. Yeah. Let's go, Brian. Come on, let's go. Get it, Brian. Come on, get it. Yes! Both stones weigh more than 330 kilograms, so no wonder Brian is a role model for many strongmen and fans of fitness. By the way, he's happy to share the secrets of his workout with fans. Here are some tips from a famous athlete. First, never start a workout without stretching. Secondly, start with smaller weights. Do not try to lift the heaviest weights in the first 10 minutes of training. Third, do not focus on one exercise only. Powerlifting does not mean you should spend 100% of your time in the gym. You can add a little creativity to the workouts. Fourth, always follow exercise guidelines. And finally, the fifth, never exercise non-stop. Otherwise, you risk losing more time on recovery than you spent on a well-deserved rest. Another interesting fact about the strongest man on earth is his diet. In an interview, Brian talks about it in detail. For breakfast, Brian usually eats from six to seven scrambled eggs and from two to three glasses of boiled rice, washed down with a smoothie with freshly squeezed orange juice and spinach. His lunch consists of 300 gram ribeye steak and the same amount of rice. Brian eats these two foods plus vegetables for the rest of the day. In total, he eats six full meals, excluding snacks, protein shakes, and other sports supplements he takes before and after training. Raj Mohan Nair all kids dream of having some superpower. 
this man was lucky, and at the age of seven, he discovered amazing abilities of his body. The fact is that Raj, or the electric man as he is known around the world, can withstand several lamps of electricity passing through his body without suffering any harm. Usually, a current of a couple of tens of milliamps can be fatal for most people. But not for Raj. He simply takes two live wires and calmly conducts current through his body, arms, legs, chest, and even his mouth. If these wires touched any other human's body, the electricity would cause their organs to fail and stop their heart, and this, in turn, would stop blood circulation and result in a quick death. The story of Raj is no less exciting than his abilities. At the age of seven, he grabbed a live wire in a transformer box. Such negligence would kill any adult in a split second, but nothing happened to Raj. Since then, the electric man decided that he has a special gift. According to scientists, Raj's body is over 10 times more resistant to electricity than that of an average human. Johanna Strid Not often can we see a girl, let alone a little one, behind a massive drum set at a rock concert. But this girl plays better than some long-haired, bearded metalheads. Actually, she performed with them in the grand final of the Danish version of the Got Talent show in 2017. The emotions on her face when she was playing the drums are priceless. It seems that she was already born with drumsticks in her hands. She plays even the most complex broken rhythms for the most intense rock songs. And don't forget that the drums are the most important part of any heavy metal song. Johan began to play drums from a very young age. When she was very young, she played on a regular toy drum set, as many children did. However, her parents soon realized that it was more than a hobby, and at the age of seven, they gave her a real drum kit. In just a couple of years, her skills have reached a level that not all professional drummers can achieve during many years of playing. Today, the little rock star travels with her new band around the world and plays drums at the largest rock festivals. In addition, after Johan won that show, drums became popular among the girls in the music schools of Denmark. Johan says that she wants not only to perform on stage, but also to inspire more kids to play an instrument instead of just play on an iPad. Jacques Bailey If you open the dictionary on a random page, there is a great chance you will see a word that you have never heard in your life. And even more so, you will have no idea how to spell and pronounce it correctly. In many countries, there's even a special competition called the spelling bee, where people are trying to pronounce various complex words letter by letter. And believe us, this is not as simple as it seems. This man can spell any word in the English language, even the longest or a borrowed one, without a single mistake. E-L-U-C-U-B-R-A-T-E If you think this is easy, try doing this at home. You will certainly make a mistake in some sound or accent. Wang Odd if you have at least one tattoo on your body, then other people have probably asked you how it would look like in old age. Well, to find out the answer, just look at this woman. She's more than a hundred years old. She looks great and not only wears tattoos on her body, but also makes them for other people. Wang Odd is an artist of the ancient tattoo style prevalent in her homeland, the Philippine province of Kalinga. Artists like her are called Mamba Batak. This word translates from Tagalog as pat on the pay. <laughs> This is how this style of tattooing is done. The ink on the peg with an awl is driven under the skin by tapping the peg with a stone. In the past, only warriors could wear such tattoos. The drawings symbolized courage and boldness and were considered a kind of amulet. Today, anyone can get a tattoo from Wang Odd, regardless of gender and occupation. And people come here from all corners of the world. According to Wang, she is always glad to see tourists because they fill her life with meaning. <laughs> Teresa Widener We all have different tastes. People love the craziest combinations of products, from watermelon with bread to fries served together with ice cream. But this woman from the British city of Bedford chose a particularly weird dish as her favorite. Every day, she does not miss the chance to feast on stones. Teresa started to tuck into rocks decades ago. At first, Teresa liked their smell. But at some point, she decided to try to eat them. And since then, stones have become a part of her diet. Today, she eats about a kilogram of stones a day. Are there any edible stones in the world? Of course there are. There's salt and rock salt, nitrate, and some other salts that we use daily with food and as part of medicines. However, in this case, we are talking about the rocks definitely not intended for eating. 
For example, granite. In scientific terms, this woman suffers from a type of eating disorder called geophagia. It carries a huge number of risks, from internal bleeding to getting dangerous parasites. So even if it helps save money on food, definitely don't follow her example. Serenade each other with charisma